Okay, this is obviously part of the show. That sounds like something a killer would say. No, yeah, of course it's part of the show. No way he's really dead. I, I promise you we are going to leave and when we come back, he'll be gone, okay? Come on. <laughs> Later? Later he will be gone. Michaela Marie really runs like a special needs. She's so brave. They want us to panic. It amps the tension for when the secrets start coming out. That makes sense. But in another way, it doesn't. We should probably check the body. was odd, but he did not deserve this. I can just, I can stand. Yeah, I think that'd be best. Okay. Princeton, you're alive. Should I not be? You look strangled. That's how we sleep in the Price family. Then why did you scream? It's how we wake up. What about Michaela Marie? I don't know how she wakes up. No, is she alive? <clears throat> I don't know how to do this. Move. Nope, she's dead. What did you do? Nothing, I was asleep. We tie ourselves up to avoid this exact scenario. Well, I don't want to sound mean or anything, but I'm glad she's dead. What? I hate her, and it's a game. Okay, it's probably, it's a fake body. Pretty convincing fake. No. Look. Why is that in there? Sleeping knife. Watch. It's just a rubber exterior with... <gasps> well, they probably knew I'd do that, so they had to make it look real. Smell real. Okay. Guys, and be honest, uh, this looks real bad on me. Let me show you how to do it. If anyone can hear us, Dead Brandon was the only one watching the cameras, remember? <laughs> I was not kidding about us being locked in here. My paw was hanging, dangling. Sister fell asleep, final rest. Knife in the chest, and blood pooled underneath. Shut up! Wait, what? You know, the old lullaby, eight American crackers. Is that some sort of ginger thing? Hey, that's our word. But, yes, every redhead is sung that song nightly till age 12. This is just like that. Pa is spelled P-A. Brandon was a production assistant, or P-A. His sisters, well, she's a girl, so we're sisters. And Trisha stabbed her while she was sleeping. Yeah. Didn't Brandon have a phone? I told you. <laughs> hey, guys. Kind of forget you're holding it after like the 10th stab. You're not really helping yourself. You did it, didn't you? Everyone knows you hated her. So you found some way to pre-kill her and then you stabbed her a gross amount of times to make sure she was dead. Um, not too long ago, she would have been burned as a witch because she kind of looked like one. So clearly God wanted her dead. That makes sense. Agreed. Thank you, Princeton. Which leads me to my next point. Princeton is the killer. He was there the whole time. 
That also makes sense. Agreed. Wait, Princeton, weren't you sleeping? Ah, yes. You poked a hole in my theory. Also, only gingers can be witches. That's true. Anyway, I know how we can find out if Trisha's innocent. Seems unlikely. So, now what? We turn off the lights. If she's innocent, and the lights come back on, somebody else will be dead. That's just so dumb. Okay, yeah, the killer wouldn't be stupid enough to kill somebody on command. All they would have to... Seriously? Ew, that knife was just in somebody else. That's how people get AIDS.